This apparatus is for introducing students to specific heat capacity. It brings out the difference between heat energy and temperature. The apparatus consists of this mounting board and we have a sheet of wax which slips into the two grooves either side there and sits like so. We have three metals, different metals, aluminium, zinc and bismuth. In older versions of this apparatus, this one used to be lead. Now each of these masses has the same cross-sectional area. They are all equal mass but different metals. And what we're going to do is to heat them up in boiling water all to the same temperature and then place them on top of the wax. To help us heat the masses I'm going to take a piece of twine and thread it through the hole in the top there and I will be able to lower this into and out of the boiling water and then stand it on top. So when we come back we'll have these masses all heated to the same temperature. We now have our three different metals, all of the same mass, all heated to the same temperature, all same cross-sectional area. We're ready to place these metals on top of the wax. So let's take the business first, give it a wipe. Next, think. And finally, the aluminium. Okay, so we will leave these for a couple of minutes and when we come back we'll look and see what's happened to the wax. We've left this for a couple of minutes and you can see that these metals have sunk to different depths in the wax. Remember, they are all the same mass, same cross-sectional area, same temperature, but they sunk to different depths in the wax. To melt that wax needs energy. This aluminium must have most energy because it's melted most of the wax. Even though they're all at the same temperature, this has melted most wax. And secondly is this one, and third is the, the bismuth. Heat energy and temperature, different quantities.